Hello everyone, and welcome back to our story about the giant who became a saint. This is a long one, so get comfortable as we listen to how brave Offero helps a little traveler, who may be more than he seems. Chapter 7 A Stranger at Offero's Door One black night, when the rain lashed the hut and the river ran high and wild, Offero awoke to a sound that was not the storm. A knock, said his listening heart, a knock. Or was it all a dream? No pilgrim, not even the fearless king, would travel on a night like this. Nevertheless, Offero sprang up, lit his great rude lantern, and threw open the door. A drenching blast blew away his breath. But there, on the threshold, in the gusty light, was a pilgrim indeed, a little child with his cloak dripping with rain. Offero scooped him up with one grasp of his great arm. Poor little one, he said, come in from the storm. No, no, kind giant, pleaded the child. I cannot stay. I must cross the river tonight. It runs deep and wild for my small strength, and I come to ask if you will carry me through. So Offero took up his staff and, settling the child gently on his shoulder, plunged out into the pelting storm. Above the wind, they could hear the river roaring in the darkness. Offero strode to the edge and stepped in. At the very bank, the water was knee-deep, and the waves washed high on his great body. The child hung closer to his neck, and Offero stopped and steadied himself. The bottom was slippery at best, and tonight, with the waves rushing against him, it was harder than ever to stand upright. At every step the river grew deeper and more savage. The rapids snarled about his neck, and his eyes were blinded with foam. The child, who had been but a featherweight, seemed suddenly to become heavier than a man. Offero's mighty shoulder bent under the load. The waves dashed against his face, choking him. And still the child pressed him down. The water was smothering him, and he felt the current sweeping him off his feet. As firmly as he held to his staff, he could not go on. The child became like a mountain bearing him down. His limbs were numb and cramped, and all his strength seemed gone. A daze came over him, and the water surged above his head. With one last struggle, he straightened himself, raising the child above the foam. Offero gasped, staggered forward, and stopped, trembling and weak. But he had passed the channel and stepped into the shallow water on the other side. No matter how heavily the child bore upon him now, he could keep his head above the waves. So he stood, bowed and panting, beaten by the river and the rain. Thank goodness Offer was able to make his way through the raging river. But who could this strange child be? Come back next for the final chapter of Offero's adventure to find out exactly who Offero just helped across the river.